Yeah, it's been great. Um, first and foremost, just really excited for this opportunity. Um, you know, obviously it's been a couple of years since I started, so um, a lot of cool emotions. Um, got a lot of family and friends that are coming, and um, really just excited for the game. Yeah, I remember back uh, at the draft, <laughs> and um, you know, two fifteen, both of you guys go one and one. Is it ironic that you know both of you guys are getting? He's kind of started already down there, but getting your second chance and uh, opening the season against uh, Jameis. Yeah, it's um, such an interesting story, right? Um, you know, I, I got to know Jameis during the combine. We actually trained together out in Carlsbad in California. And um, I've always told him, you know, I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans and I've always wished him well. Um, you know, now that we're kind of going on these different paths and different journeys, that doesn't change for me. Um, so I'm excited to see him. Um, you know, again, I always wish him the best. Um, you know, going through our different paths, you always want to see someone like that be successful given another opportunity. Yeah, and not just you and him, but a lot of uh, uh, young men are getting a second chance uh, around the league. Did, can you look back and say was something, did they put you all out there too quick or, you know, or, or just, you know, it's been different situations, different places and, just trying to find the right uh, situation for a lot of guys. Well, I think you said it best. I, I think everyone's situation is unique. Um, given what's happened to a lot of guys, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't change matter of the fact of what the situation was. I think some of us had to play right away. That was just the nature of the beast. Um, you know, with that being said, though, I, I really believe, um, you know, for me, the last couple of years to sit and watch and to learn um, was very beneficial. And I'm excited to take what I've learned and absorbed and apply it to this season and, and to this start on Sunday. And, uh, you know, for, for the people that were, were here last year, we're looking at, you know, not just you, but some of the new weapons on the offense. Brian Edwards, London, of course, and uh, Damon Williams. A lot of people know about his work. Uh, how, how are some of those uh, guys doing and how they fit into the overall attack? I think all these pieces – are exciting for us as an offense. Each guy brings something very unique, very versatile, and they're all very talented athletes. So for me as a quarterback, I really just try to be a point guard and distribute where I can, allow these guys to get the ball in their hands and, and create these special plays. Um, so that being said, it's exciting. I, I think we, we got a good group, of guy, uh, good group of guys, and I look forward to the game on Sunday. Marcus, it's not very often that you get to practice in the stadium before week one. Just how nice was that and beneficial is it as you guys are trying to not only, you know, play on Sunday but win at home? Very beneficial. And, you know, it's it's nice to come here. It's feeling like home, and that's what it's supposed to be. Um, you know, to come out in the city, to be here, to be in our own locker room, um, to have the lights on, you know, to play and practice at the same time we're going to play it on Sunday. Um, it just creates kind of familiarity so that when you get out there, you're comfortable and uh, you can just play with confidence. And how good does it feel? I know it's been a few years since you've been the starter week one to, to be coming in and, and, and getting this start again in your career. Yeah, it's almost surreal, right? Like, um, you know, last couple of seasons, you know, you're just kind of – you're always one play away. You're always prepared to be the starter. Um, but to be here again in this, in this situation, to have this opportunity uh, is very exciting for me, and I, I can't wait for it on Sunday. How many friends and family do you think you have coming uh, for a week? Uh, it's north of 30, so you got like the entire state of Hawaii coming out, which would be fun. <laughs> and uh, uh, Coach was joking with us that uh, uh, AJ and uh, Grady were better captains, uh, honorary captains than you. Just how is this weekend having Oregon here and just seeing everyone <laughs> again? It was fun. Um, tough yeah, um, for the alumni a little bit, but um, – you know what, it, it is cool. It, it was a special moment for me um, to be in, you know, this new home stadium for me, to have my former team, my collegiate team out here was, was a lot of fun. It was cool to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, you know, the result wasn't what we wanted it to be, but at the same time, um, I think it's a young team, and I'm excited to see where Coach Lanning takes them. Marks, you've been in the league for some time. Do you expect to feel butterflies on Sunday? Absolutely, without yeah. a doubt. And, you know, my dad told me a long time ago that it, it means you care. And it, it always kind of brings a little comfort for me. So um, I always get it. First play of the game, it, it goes away, and it's just football again. Um, but, yeah, I really believe there will be a lot of emotions. And, um, you know, I just kind of channel that. I don't try to fight it or anything like that. Just be present in the moment and enjoy this. And you, love, and you revel in the competition. It's something that uh, supercharges you, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And um, that's what – 
I love about this game is it is competitive day, uh, week in and week out. You know, it's the most competitive major league sport, I think, in the country. Um, so it doesn't matter what, what week it is. Um, you know, you got to strap it up and play. And uh, I like that mentality, and I, I can't wait to do it.